After Effects has had some amazing improvements this year from the native 3D support added to the overall speed improvements with GPU rendering. A lot more can be made now with After Effects, but there's still a huge benefit in adding plugins to your software to create effects like this and this. Today, we're going to be going over the top five plugins from After Effects, both paid and free, so that you can determine whether or not these will be useful to you in your workflow. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. First up, we have Limber 2 by Animatable, and if you've ever seen those really cool character animations online made with After Effects, chances are it's being made with Limber, or at least a similar plugin because by default After Effects does not natively have any rigging support unless you consider the puppet pin tool, but honestly that's no way to animate at all. So yeah, it's crazy to imagine After Effects all this time does not really have their own robust rigging system, but thankfully Limber brings that functionality to After Effects and with Limber 2, they add even more rigging support presets and options such as free K, auto flop, and expanded limb libraries and more. If you're interested in having a super handy character animation system with a bunch of control and after effects, Limber 2 is probably one of your best options. Limber 2 costs about $52 online, making it a little bit pricier on the list, but I guarantee once you get Limber 2, there's really no going back since it's such a complete everything in one package when it comes to character animation. Next up, we have Loop Flow from iRelix, and this plugin allows you to instantly animate photos into looped videos. If I was to ask you to recreate this effect in After Effects, it could either take you a few seconds or a few hours depending on if you had this plugin or not. The results are super trippy and work great for natural VFX like smoke, fire, hair, and water. And honestly, I was skeptical when I first saw this plugin because for sure there's already an app on your phone that lets you create visuals like these. But if you're looking to have more fine tuned controls and also use these effects in a more professional setting like a music video, then having this plugin is a game changer because it lets you do these effects right within After Effects. So imagine you can bump up your compositions as big as K or 8 K or do all sorts of crazy effects with these as well, where you would not get that kind of functionality on a mobile app. So for that reason, Loop Flow is super awesome. And you can find this one as well for about $50, which I find a bit pricey, but if you're doing music videos as a profession, I'd probably say put this into your budget as one of those. It might be helpful to consider this as a part of your VFX budget. Next up, we have something that is definitely more practical and it's called Mask Shape Converter. This plugin lets you easily convert a mask to a shape or a shape to a mask in I don't know why this isn't built into After Effects by default. And after all this time, I'm glad someone finally said enough is enough and made this plugin. It's super simple, does exactly what it needs to do. And clocking in at about $15 on the list here, it's not super pricey to finally get rid of the headaches of using masks and shapes in After Effects. Okay, things are heating up. We're getting down to the final two. So this one is actually a bonus one and it's not so much of a plugin for After Effects as it is a really handy, useful workflow tool that lets you do a whole bunch more and ports really well with After Effects. When Mystica reached out to sponsor a video, I was skeptical because you can imagine I'm not a fan of nodes at all. It took me years to get into using nodes with Blender or even in Comfy UI. So when Mystica reached out to sponsor a video introducing their node-based workflow, you can tell I was less than enthused. But after I got on the phone with the developers and they showed me a real-time demo of what this can do, I was mind blown and said, sign me up right away. So check this out. If you guys are are working on a project which involves having to do a lot of outputs, a lot of different variations to a composition, whether that's for localization into different languages. Mystica Workflows lets you actually alter your After Effects compositions, re-render them all out, and export them to different folders, trigger an email to get sent to a specific location, and so, so much more. Honestly, it was freaking mind-blowing to see all the stuff that you could do. They even showed me a really brief demo of using Eleven Labs to clone my voice and then generate a whole bunch of different compositions with different voiceovers, all based off of a simple to use Excel sheet. I don't know if you guys enjoy coding, but I'm not a fan of coding. So any sort of no code or low code solution to get automated workflows, I'm a fan of and I really enjoyed it. So huge shout out to Mystical Workflows for coming out with such an awesome tool and thanks for bringing it to our attention. So 
you guys want to get signed up there's going to be a link down in that description box okay so down to the final two here on the list if you don't have this free plugin fx console do yourself a favor and get it now fx console has been and is still a must-have for after effects if andrew kramer's track record of being 10 years ahead of adobe when it comes to after effects then this one is no different because i literally use this plugin all the time and i know i mention it a lot and that's because it is just that good. So if you're using After Effects, don't have it installed, go ahead, install it right now. It's completely free and it's a complete game changer. Okay, and last on the list at number one, we have Gaussian Splatting by Irelix. And Gaussian Splatting is a new graphical training and rendering method that produces insanely photorealistic 3D models that render insanely fast. So this plugin is probably the best port for Gaussian Splats right now in After Effects, which actually allows you to have real-time results with GPU processing. This plugin was featured in our previous video about Gaussian Splatting, and I love just how easy and fast it was to use in After Effects. Honestly, this ran so incredibly fast to where everything was pretty much real time. And despite looking amazing, you could still alter all of these Gaussian splats. So I was able to crop Gaussian splats, layer them up, move them, animate them, and so much more. There's a bunch of distortion and animation options that easily makes Gaussian splatting my pick of the year when it comes to vastly enhancing what you can do in After Effects. And that's why Gaussian splatting gets a big fat black mixture stamp of approval. If you guys enjoyed this, then you'll probably want to check out this new AI image generation model that lets you create photorealistic images of just about anything. And not only that, but we show a technique to bring them to life with animation and believable movement. The technique is so game changing and mind blowing. I'm honestly shocked and I think you guys are going to enjoy it a whole lot. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. All right, peace.